Kelly B. Sheekster. So today I'm doing a first impression slash, not really a haul, but it's a haul for me. I um, ordered from Holt Look for the first time and I ordered from the Urban Decay sale. I'm super excited because I got this Urban Decay palette. It is the Urban Decay Smoked palette. And I'm super excited. It's my first Urban Decay palette I've ever owned. So I'm definitely going to love trying to do tutorials and really get a good impression on it so pretty much i've already opened it and it comes like this and inside the box you get like this little get the look book and it's a little book kind of like the uh two face vegas one that they came out and it gives you like little looks that you can try using this palette so i'll definitely look into that but i definitely want to come up with my own on the other end it gives you a Deluxe sample size of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I've heard really good things about, so I'm definitely excited to try that. And then inside my Smoked Urban Decay Palette, I've already unzipped it, it comes with all of these beautiful shades, and it comes with a 24-7 Glide-On Eyeliner Pencil, which I really like their eyeliner. Um, I've gotten a few in my Ipsy bags. I've gotten like a lip liner from Urban Decay and then I've gotten one eyeliner which I really really love so I'm super excited to try it. It has about let's see one two three four five about ten different shades in here and they're all great for smoky eye looks. The first color is called Kinky and the next one is Freestyle. Mushroom, Black or Backdoor, Blackout, Barlust, Rockstar, Evidence, Loaded, and Asphalt. So I'm going to do a couple swatches, so I'm going to get a little closer, and I'm going to color swatch the first three, which is Kinky, Freestyle, and Mushroom. I'm going to do that. So first thing I have to say is they are definitely creamy, and they're very well pigmented. I don't know if the light's really showing it off very well on my arm. Um, definitely like the color. The first three colors are definitely wearable. So now I'm going to do Backdoor and blackout which already feeling blackout got a little drier in the consistency on the formulas and i know the color is different from every formula and every color so it's already feeling a little dry the back door was still pretty creamy very 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 pigmented are these colors so i'm going to wipe off my hands so i can do a couple more swatches but again, love, love, love the colors so far. It's definitely been a good purchase. I cannot wait to see what they look like on my eyes. Now I'm gonna try Barlust, Rockstar, ooh, and Evidence. And I'm going to swatch them. Again, really pigmented colors, very creamy. Definitely good for dark colors will say I'm getting a little fallout the more you try to pack on to your hands definitely the more product falls so it's kind of becoming loose as the colors get darker for the smoky eye and I accidentally already mixed one of my shades kind of sad that. now the last two colors I'm going to do are loaded and asphalt which asphalt actually is very creamy for being another black color from this palette and the other one is just a very beautiful color oh i'm so excited this is definitely going to come in handy because i guess this month for ipsy it's alter ego it's the theme and i have to come up with an alter ego kind of video and i'm thinking i might have to use some of these colors from this palette to create my alter ego i'm super excited about it i will definitely say that about the palette i guess i don't know i'm just mumbling but so far my first impression of this palette is i really like it i mean blackout i'm a little sad that it's a little drier than the other colors not creamy because i really like the creamy feeling of eyeshadows but again i have other palettes that have really nice blacks that are really really dark smoky blacks um so i'll get over it but let's see, this is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil Perversion, and it's the color black, or the color perversion, I guess is what it's called. And I'm just going to do a little swatch of that, and oh, I just, like I said, I love the one I got. I think I got it in purple, though, in my bag, 
but I love it. I love how creamy this is. I love the stay power of it. I just love this eyeliner and it's definitely one of my go-to eyeliners. So I'm super excited about getting the black one since the plum one that I'm using. I don't use often enough, but black I would use all, like, on a daily basis when I do my eyeliner. Super excited about that. Again, love the packaging. I love that it's a zipper and that when I travel with it, I'm not gonna worry about the thing opening up and dust getting into it or whatever particles in my makeup bag are flying loose. I love that I can keep it closed and good. I love that it comes with the little compartment for your eyeliner, whether I'm using the Urban Decay eyeliner or whatever my favorite one is for the month. Can definitely take it with me. I love that it comes with a mirror. Um, if I'm glaring you, sorry. I love that it has a mirror on it so that on the go traveling, you know, you can use it, have a mirror on you and blah, 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 blah. can't talk today, but you have a mirror for it. I love the colors. I love that I have a few neutral shades that I could wear on a daily basis, but I love that I can smoke out pretty much any of these colors. I want to say out of all my swatches, Loaded, Evidence, and Rockstar are my favorite colors. I love that this is a green. I love the blue and I love the plum purple. This plum purple will probably look really good in a fall look, especially with this brown or backdoor or mushroom or even adding a little bit of freestyle. I think it's going to make a beautiful fall look as well. Um, and then my last thing that we'll talk about is that um, eye primer. Right now I've been using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so and I'm really liking it, but I really can't wait to try this. I'm going to put a little dot. Um, I like that this looks like a little potion bottle. I think that's what drags me to the Urban Decay one better, but I haven't actually tried it. But right now I like the consistency. It's very creamy. Um, it blends. It feels a little sticky at first, but as you blend it out, it definitely starts to dry and like leave like a flesh toned skin look so that you can put it on. So I'm hoping when I put my eyeshadow on trying this and I'll do an re actual review of like me using the product and I'll talk more about it, but I'm hoping it works really well. I mean, it could be my number one favorite right now. Too Faced is definitely on the number one for the primer. But again, I'm looking for new things and definitely loving to try it all. Other than that, that's my first impression of the Smoked Urban Decay palette. Um, I don't know if that's the current palette like look to it because I know that some of the time Holt Look will get products on there and do the flash sales and it's the old packaging and it's not necessarily the new packaging that they've been doing for it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm still getting into this makeup world and getting into the high-end makeup, so I'm not 100% sure. I know like for Too Faced when you buy stuff off of there, it's most of the time in the old packaging, not in the current. Other than that, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll definitely do um, a more in-depth uh, review on my blog, which I will link down below my blog channel, and not my blog channel, but my blog page for you guys to check out. I've been doing a lot of updating to my room, to my channel, to my Facebook, to a blog page. I've been trying to revamp for you guys, so I hope you're enjoying my revamping stage. I know I'm a little here and there with my videos, but I'm definitely trying to get better and get on a better schedule for you guys. Again, like my channel, subscribe to it, thumbs up this video, like this video, comment down below. I really, 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 really would enjoy if you guys commented more on my videos so I could get to know more of how I need to fix my videos for you and better them and what will entertain you guys the most and what you want to see. I'm working on getting a Snapchat, a Periscope, you name any of the things. I already have an Instagram, I already have a Twitter. Um, all that is linked down below, but I definitely want to become a part of the community with all of you. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Live your life with peace and love. Bye. Thank you.